One of the most successful girl groups to emerge in the early 60s, New York's Ronettes had million seller after million seller with hits like Be My Baby and Baby I Love You. The Ronettes were so big that on one of their first tours, they took along the Rolling Stones as their opening act. The group was a production of Phil Spector, the boy genius producer who created the legendary Wall of Sound and went on to work with such greats as Ike and Tina Turner, John Lennon and George Harrison. Spector discovered the Ronettes in 1963. Five years later, he and Ronnie Bennett were married. The couple moved to a 23-room mansion in Hollywood, where Ronnie virtually disappeared from the music scene. And that's exactly how it wound up. I, I, I was going. I was just in a mansion. I never went out. I never listened to rock and roll music. I never went to any rock concerts. During my marriage, it was all sports. I mean, we would have uh, uh, tournaments at the house for the weekend with, with my scony Minnesota fats. I mean, billiards and stuff. So I never, never rock and roll show. It was trying to, it was trying to like, let, make me forget, with, but I, which I couldn't, because every night I go to bed crying. Uh, why would you want to forget her? Why would he want to make you forget the, the success? When you love and somebody, you want it for your own, you know. I mean, that's the way I think he felt. But he was afraid that he would lose you to rock and roll? You're damn right. He thought he'd lose me to a whole lot more than rock and roll. <laughs> I mean, you know, guys and stuff. He didn't, he, he was very insecure, so. Even of Elvis Presley? Yes, which, which, one, that's the only person he ever let me, uh, he took me to see his show. It was on my birthday, every August 10th. He sent me to Las Vegas, but I usually went with a bodyguard. But this time he went, because it was uh, Elvis's compliments, you know, to come. And we went, and um, I was in that room for no longer than a minute when Phil called. Because Elvis may have looked at me a little too soon, or a little too fast, or a little too long. My ex-husband called me over and said, here, it's $500, happy birthday, go upstairs and play blackjack, we gotta talk business. There was like 25 people in the room. I was like, talk business. <laughs> so it, so uh, even then, I, I didn't get a chance to like rap with the rock stars or you know, get a chance to uh, meet any. And that was the only show I ever saw, a rock show. You toured with the Beatles. I understand that you became very close friends with them and especially with John Lennon. First of all, I became close with all of them in the beginning, and then it narrowed down to John. <laughs> what was that relationship like? Um, it was very hard to tell because I was, I was in love with Phil and John was in love with me and, uh, it was either leave Phil and go with me and Phil saying, no, you leave him. And it's like the first tour that the Beatles did was in the United States, but I didn't go on that tour. It just said Ronettes, but I wasn't the Ronette. I had to hire a cousin, lookalike cousin to, to take my place because Phil was saying either you marry me and you don't go on that tour. And John was saying, either you go on that tour and we get together. I mean, so I just chose the one I loved. And I happened to love Phil at the time, so I didn't go on that tour. Did you still hold feelings for John Lennon? It's a, it's a friend, yeah. How did you feel December when he was killed? I freaked. I just sat here like, like, like I'm sitting here now, and I just didn't move. I just said, that ain't true. I mean, I just, I'm dreaming. When I wake up, it'll be all over. You know, it's one, it was one of those kind of things. And when I, when I woke up, it wasn't over. I mean, what can you do? Did you attend any of the vigils? No. You didn't no, contact didn't. anybody? No. And I know Yoko very well. I didn't attend anything. I didn't call anybody. I didn't send flowers. I didn't send telegrams. I didn't do anything. You evaluated the loss in your own mind? you damn right. In my case, uh, with the close relationship John and I had, because him and Yoko had broken up for a while when, when I was divorced. And so John and I became real, real close. I mean, we were close before, but we became real, real close. You know, he was at my divorce. <laughs> I mean, I could go on forever, but, uh, you know. In 1963, when the Ronettes really hit big with ba Be My Baby and Baby I Love You, you were 15 years old. How did you handle that stardom? You just didn't think about it. See, I had been singing for so long, since I was a little tot, that uh, the audience, uh, I, I didn't think of people, and my mother always used to say, don't think of it as getting, because when I first got $10, I was, the first gig I got was making $10 a night. I thought that was, <gasps> they're paying me for doing something I, I did, you know. So I couldn't understand the whole thing at the beginning. 